Welcome back to Black News Tonight. It's now time to see what's hot in these digital streets. And joining me tonight to help break things down is Kazim Famoyide. He is co-host of the Say Less podcast. He's also the co-host of the MSGPM podcast. And sadly, he is a New York Knicks fan, but we still let him on the show. All right. <laughs> Let's jump right to I was about to say, get, get, ready to, <laughs> get ready for them John Wall jerseys. You know what's coming, Philly. You know what's coming. <laughs> oh, no. No. I, look, I want to get rid of Ben Simmons as much as anybody else, but I would rather just keep him on the bench for a month to something better come, man, because I, I, I just can't take it. Speaking of athletes, beggars can't be choosy. <laughs> That's true, and we are begging right now. Look, all right, Netflix just dropped the first trailer for Colin Kaepernick's upcoming series, Colin in Black and White. It's created with Ava DuVernay, and the series explores Kaepernick's transition from high schooler, NFL star, and eventually the activist that we know him to be. The Netflix drama will feature narration from Kaepernick, while a young Colin, played by actor Jaden Michael, str struggles on screen with issues like culture and identity. Colin in Black and White premieres October 29th. Kaz, how do you feel about this? I mean, obviously, I love Colin Kaepernick. We respect Colin Kaepernick. My only worry um, is that this might signal the transition out of that. Like, has he given up on the NFL? Is that, is, has that ship sailed already now? I don't know if, if he gave up on the NFL. The NFL sort of said, you know, we're, we're good. And to be honest, I wouldn't want to try and play NFL football after taking four or five years off either. You know what I mean? I don't care how good Colin Kaepernick is, and I'm a big fan of him. He's won me a ton of fantasy football games in my lifetime. But, you know, like taking that much time off and, you know, getting to become a, a you know, a producer, author, activist, all this other stuff, I appreciate it and I love it because when you hear his story, you kind of want to know where that all comes from. And, and being somebody who's biracial, who is a, a pro athlete who's been through a lot in his life, and especially transitioning to, you know, a, a pretty much a full time activist, you kind of want to know where his thought process comes. So being able to see this through his eyes, through his vision with help from Ava DuVernier is going to be very interesting to me for me to see. So, um, but as far as his on the field career is concerned, I've always said this and I've said this for the past several years. He's going to make much more of a difference off the field, not playing football, not taking a snap than he ever will on the field. So, you know, more props to him. I agree 100%. All right, let's talk about This is just light skin night. All right, Drake's sixth <laughs> studio album, Certified Lover Boy, <laughs> is making history. CLB tracks have claimed nine out of the top 10 spots on the Billboard Hot 100, making Drake the only artist other than the Beatles to ever monopolize the entire top five slots in a week. Meanwhile, on social media, the rapper has announced that Certified Lover Boy became Spotify's most streamed album in a single day. Kaz, I'm going to say something, and I want you to tell me if I am tripping. And you're probably going to tell me I'm tripping. I'm probably going to tell you. Drake is a huge... <laughs> Drake is a huge pop... <laughs> right. Drake is a huge pop star. His numbers are unprecedented, um, and they're undeniable. However, he still has yet to make a classic album, and he will uh, never right, be listen, listen. on the etch Mark, line... Mark. I know you're a rappers. Philly guy. You're a Philly guy, but I gotta <laughs> like tell you what a lot of my friends have like loosen up the Timberlands, you know what I mean? Like get the shirt a little bit sized up, you know what I mean? Like you gotta <laughs> let that whole he has no classic album thing go. You know, he may not have a classic album to you, but if you, you know, pull anybody who was around, you know, went to high school when he dropped college, all that type of stuff, take care nothing was the same so far gone those are uh, classic albums and listen listen you can say what you want about his classic. rap sales you may not think these are classics these are classics take care comes on right now if drake said tonight yo i'm going on tour i'm only performing take care cuts for the entire tour i guarantee you it sells out immediately you gotta understand he broke the mold with those products yes. and the reason why the reason why he can monopolize the Billboard charts is because for the past 12 years, he has been a dominant artist. And maybe the whole concept of what a classic album is to people might have changed over the years. But I got to give the light skin boy his props, man. The dude has been doing it bigger and better than anybody has. So I so saw our fellow dark skin brother Kanye, he even had to push his album back. He's like, hey, listen, I don't want none of that Billboard first week smoke. <laughs> and it, it, it made perfect sense, like, because you got him you got him clean out of the Hot 100 in record time. No, I agree with almost everything you said. I, you're right. Drake could sell out 
a stadium filled with mostly people who can't grow a mustache. But you're right. He could sell out a stadium and be just fine. He'll see lots of hits. He's an amazing artist. I think he can rap. I think he's talented. I'm going to tell you something that... Uh, the artist Damon, uh, the writer Damon Young said about Drake, which hits the nose for me. A Drake album, when you listen to it, you have no idea what year it is. You have no idea what's happening in the world around you. Take Care could have come out this year. Certified Lover Boy could have come out 10 years ago. The only way you could tell what year it is is by who's doing the features. And for me, the way I understand hip hop, it's hard for me to appreciate an artist who could have the world burning around them, as he said. And his raps just don't care about it. It's just emo rap. It's just a, a light-skinned guy Mark, who slides Mark, down the wall Mark, when he cries. Brother, brother, let me tell you something. The day I hear Drake with some climate control bars or some uh, some feed the children <laughs> bars or anything like that, like I'm super <laughs> good. Like, cut me out. Cut me out. I know what I know what I go to Drake for. All right. I know what I'm getting when I hear his album or when I hear him about to drop a song. And you you might be right. Like uh, me personally. You know, I think I'm starting to start to be at that point where I'm starting to grow out of Drake music. That's a solid criticism. I, I'll give you that. But I'm also of the thought process of if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And that dude knows his formula. He sticks to his formula. And obviously, it's worked well for him. So, I mean, maybe one day when he's old and got some gray hair, maybe he grew out some Jay-Z dreads, maybe he'll give us like a grown-up album, probably. But until then, I'm going to enjoy these way too sexy bops until, you know. We go back outside again. <laughs> That's fair. He got about 100 more of them. Let's, let's talk about one more thing before we go. I want to talk about verses because tonight, I know a lot of y'all be watching Black News tonight. Of course, you'll be watching Making the Case for Yodi 12 Day after that. But if you happen to be while watching that on your phone looking at verses, uh, <laughs> there's an important verses coming up tonight. New I'll York legends right Fat Joe and Ja Rule are gearing up to go hit for hit in the latest versus battle tonight. And on social media, hip hop fans are already making predictions as to who will come out as the night's big winner. The battle, which was first announced earlier this month, comes just a few short weeks after another legendary matchup between New York rap superstars, The Locks and Dipset. I'm again going to make an unpopular, I think unpopular, a uh, prediction here, Kaz. Oh, boy. I got oh, Ja Rule boy. winning in a nail-biter. I got Ja Rule winning in a nail-biter. Now, I had locks washing Dipset, and I was right. I usually get these mm. things right. I think because people like the clown Ja, they're going to forget how many hits he has until he starts running them hits off. Now, Fat Joe got some big ones, right? Some 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 big some big uh, hits, right? And when he does everything from all the way up to, you know, obviously lean back, he's going to have his moments. But Ja right. Rule... Because people are expecting him to be the underdog, if he even ties, he wins. I think Ja Rule's going to put on a better show. Fat Joe might tell a couple stories, but I think Fat Joe, I mean, loses this to, and I love both of them, but I think he loses the jaw and the nail biter. What you think? I love them both. I got I got two thoughts on that, right? I remember when verses were really starting to pop off, and everyone was like, it's not a competition. It's a celebration. There's no winner or loser. No. <laughs> Jada Kiss and the Locks changed that completely. There are winners and there are losers at Versus now, so you better come with it. And I'm not going to hold you, Mark. I'm with you on this one. I'm, I'm with you on this one. I got Ja Rule because my rule of thumb for the Versus battles has always been, okay, longevity or the highest heights, right? And while, ja, to me, Fat mm -hmm. Joe has the bigger longevity, and to this day, every summer, he's going to hit you with, with a hit. He's going to have a, a banger every summer. It's yep. guaranteed. Does not matter. The heights that Ja Rule was at when he was his hottest, he can give you 10, 15 records just off, just off of those two, three summers alone. So, I mean, I, and, and the fact that Ja Rule hasn't been in the public eye as much, and I think Fat Joe being in this battle is great because win or lose, he's going to give us the epic recap on Instagram Live, and I'll be tuned in for that probably more than the actual versus battle. Right. But um, I got I got Ja Rule taking this as well, man. People try to it, – it's fun to make fun of Ja Rule, Fighter Fest, 50 Cent, all that other stuff. But listen, nostalgia and the highest heights will always win at versus, and I think Ja Rule got it in spades. So uh, as soon as we're done with this, I'm heading over to the app and checking that out, brother. <laughs> Yo, I, I I think you I think you I think we finally agree on something on this. That first, is the first move. time Yahoo wins this. First time, <laughs> first time. Well, let's not let's let's not get used to this, man. <laughs> well, we got we got forty days till till training camp kicks off. So when the Sixers and Knicks are going back at it, 
all, all will be right back in the world again. Right. We'll be disagreeing on everything. <laughs> Exactly, bro. Good to see you, man, as always. Everybody, stay with me here on Black News tonight. I got a little bit more to tell you before I let you go.